What's up guys, it's Tai Fung. I just came out of the supermarket with some fresh cut fruit. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to settle an ongoing debate between me and my friends. Some keep saying that the supermarkets have fresher and cheaper fruit than the street vendors. And some argue that the street vendors have cheaper and fresher fruit. So I wanted to do a direct comparison today to settle this debate for good. Let's go. So first up is watermelon. I just got some watermelon from the street. This is the supermarket one. First up, what I want to compare is the price and the size difference. This is 25 baht from the supermarket and this is 20 baht from the street vendor. The size is pretty much the same. This one might look a little bit more because it has the actual skin on it as well. Now the appearance, I would say this one looks a lot sweeter. It looks fresher and it looks a lot more red. This one kind of has a little bit of a white look to it. It's either maybe not as sweet or it might have been sitting there for however long because what they do at the supermarket is they chop up the fruit and they package it and leave it there. So we don't know how long it's been sitting there, if it was it really packaged today or was it packaged yesterday. I'm gonna try the, the street vendor. Look at that, it looks fresh, it's nice and cold, it's been sitting on ice, so it's totally refreshing. Very sweet, and I love how it's so cold. It's just nice and fresh because it's been sitting on ice and very juicy. It's got bags and bags full of watermelon. These are like fresh watermelon that's not been cut yet. Evidence right here that it's fresh watermelon. Let's try the one from the supermarket. Get a good, a nice big piece right there. I can already tell the difference in color. The color itself, it doesn't look as red. It's a little bit whitish. Already it tells me that it's most likely, I mean, it's not always the case, but most likely not as sweet. And I can already feel that it's not cold because it's been sitting at the supermarket. They do cut them up fresh, but we don't know which one's been cut up now and which one was cut up before. That's the only thing. I'm gonna try this and see what the difference is. Okay. This has a little bit of a sour twist to it. And that's not because it's been sitting out or anything, it's just the watermelon itself. The watermelon is probably not as ripe, so that's why it has a slightly white, light red texture to it rather than the bright red of the one from the street vendor that I just bought. Because it's not being refrigerated, it kind of feels a little bit chalky, you know? Watermelon is supposed to be eaten cold. Now, I think what the supermarket intention is, is that you buy it from the supermarket, you take it home, you refrigerate it, and you eat it whenever you want. The ones from the street vendor, it's more for eating it instantly, on the go. From the supermarket, it's like eating a room temperature watermelon, which I'm not the biggest fan of. The winner of this one, I would say street vendor. So next up is the pineapple. First of all, let's compare the price. This in a bag, 20 baht. This wrapped up, 49 baht. That is more than double the price. Is it any bigger? I'm not sure. Maybe a little bit bigger, but you know what? Again, I think the texture looks completely different. The vendor looked nice and fresh. She cut it up right in front of me. It's been sitting on ice. This one looks a little bit dull and in a way maybe a little bit kind of I don't know it just looks looks like it's been sitting out for a while it's starting to get a little bit of that watery see-through color and that is when it's not very fresh anymore but this one what I liked about it is that she cut it up right in front of me and it's nice and cold I can feel it on my hands right now she even gave me a sweet dipping sauce which is almost identical to the one from the supermarket. So I guess we can compare those as well. And at the street vendor, I actually had a choice if I wanted the sweet or the chili dip. At the supermarket, there's really only one choice. You get what you get. I wanna try the street vendor first, cause it's just nice and fresh. Not gonna make a difference for this one anyway. I'm gonna try it without the dipping sauce first and see what this is all about. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yummy. Aloima. Now this, very sweet, very cold. It's been sitting there in her little ice chest, on ice. And you can see the pineapple is actually a whole pineapple that she has skinned up. She has cut off the eyes of it and pretty much ready to be sold. When you order it, she kind of chops it up on the spot, puts it in a bag, gives you a little stick. 
and you're good to go. The pineapple itself, not only is it fresh tasting, not only is it sweet, but it's actually nice and crunchy on the inside. And that shows that it's nice and fresh. It was pretty much just cut up. So it's delicious. It's awesome. I love it. Mm. I'm going to try it with a dipping sauce. There's a sweet dipping sauce. Give it a little dip there. Just sugar. It seems like it's been mixed with some chili as well, with that redness, and I see a little bit of chili flakes in there, but don't taste any spice at all. It's just sugar. Let's try the supermarket one. Already, it does not entice me. Just because it's been pre-packaged, just because I don't know how long it's been sitting around, and the look of it is really not that inviting. And then again, looks can be deceiving, so let's give it a shot. It's like a Christmas Day present. All right, they've given me a little fork as well. I'm gonna dig my way in or dig my way out. It's a really big piece, but you see how it kind of has that see-throughish color. It kind of looks like a canned pineapple at this point. And you know, canned pineapples are not very fresh. It's been sitting inside in syrup and all that for a very long time. So the freshness is not there. This one looks like that. I don't know if it tastes like it, so let's see. It's not as bad as it looked, but definitely not as fresh as the one that I just got off the street vendors. This one, it is a little bit sweet, but it actually has more of that citrusy kind of sourness to it. It's like a citrus acid where it kind of cuts your tongue. Definitely more sour than the one I just had. Not as crunchy, it's a little bit softer. It doesn't mean that it's more ripe, because obviously it's not more ripe because it's not sweet. It just means that it's not as fresh. It's more of a soft texture where it's almost a little bit longer, it might turn mushy. Hello, who's this? So let's try their little sweet dipping sauce. Already it's more inconvenient because one, the bag was all sealed up and two, the bag's a lot smaller so it's harder to get the pineapple in there. They got some dipping sauce, that's a sweet kind of sugar. the sugar. I'm sure it's been mixed with chili but again don't taste any spice it's just sweet. Now for this one for the supermarket pineapple definitely you'd want to dip it into the dipping sauce because it's more sour and then the, the sugar kind of balances it out and makes it a lot sweeter. But the one that I just bought from the vendor does not need the dipping sauce at all. It was very nice and fresh very sweet and has a really good crunch to it so you don't need additional sweetness and it's always better if you can eat the fruit by itself because sugar is not good for you anyway. The only thing I could say about the supermarket one is maybe you get a little bit more but if you want to go quality over quantity, definitely street vendor, top notch. I honestly would buy two or three of these over buying one of these. The obvious winner of this, again, street vendor. <laughs> Next up is mango. Yeah. Whenever you pick one, he just chops it up on the spot, freshly done for you. This one from the supermarket, pre-packaged. Don't know when they chopped it up. Don't know when they packaged it. Don't know what mango it is. Don't know, don't know, don't know. With this one, it seems like there's two mangoes in here because this one from the street, it's one mango. This is 20 baht and this packet is 49 baht. Again, even if I was to buy two of these, it would still be cheaper. 40 baht versus 49 baht. So he's given a little dipping sachet as well. This one looks a lot more spicy than the one from the supermarket. So it's a little bit different. This one has a lot of chili flakes in it and it seems like a salt and maybe sugar mix. This one looks like it's a sugar and chili mix. But the thing is with the street vendor, they give you a choice which one you want to get. He has the sweet one, he has this chili pepper one and he also has this shrimp chili one. This one is pre-packaged, whatever you get is what you get, that's it. This one is again nice and cold, been sitting on ice, nicely fresh, chopped up right in front of my eyes so I know that it's a fresh mango that has just been chopped up recently. Looking at it, they both look the same. It's not like I could tell a big difference by looking at it, but the feel is definitely different because this is not cold and the street food one is definitely cold. So I'm gonna try the supermarket one first this time, just to change it up a little bit because I've been trying the street ones for the previous fruits. 
So I'm going to try it without the dipping sauce first. Just a normal mango, kind of half ripe. It's not completely ripe where it's nice and soft. Mm. Mm. It's actually very sour still. It's obviously not ripe all the way and it still has a nice crunch to it because usually mangoes once they ripen they get very very sweet and very soft as well but this one is still nice and firm and crunchy the only thing is it's not cold I love my fruit cold the taste is not too bad though and the texture is not very bad as well now I'm gonna try it with the dipping sauce I'm gonna give it a dip in here it looks like sugar and dried chili flakes Nothing really bad to say about this yet, apart from not being refrigerated. Maybe that's what the supermarket should do. They should package it and put it in the fridge, or at least put some in the fridge, so there's an option. But they don't. They put it outside, so it's room temperature. Let's try a street vendor's one. Now poking this into this mango, already I can feel it's also nice and firm and a little bit crunchy as well. So it's not completely soft yet. Similar taste, this one's actually a little bit less sour. That you can't really compare between supermarket and street vendor because it just depends on the actual individual fruit itself. Some is just a little bit more sweet, some are a little bit sour. But it has the same texture to it, same kind of crunch. But the thing I like about this one is it's cold. It really gives it a different feel, a different taste when it's cold. It's like drinking a warm beer versus drinking a cold beer. You want your fruit kind of cold and especially in weather like this, that's what you want. You want it to eat it when it's nice and cold, when it's nice and fresh and gives it that crisp. So I'm gonna try dipping it into this sauce. Now I don't know what this one is. It looks like it's a lot of chili flakes in there and I don't know if it's sugar or salt. We'll find out. Whoa. Wow, that was a lot of chili. It's kind of like um, the little chili packets in your two minute noodles, those Asian two minute noodles. It tastes like that kind of chili. Just a dry chili flake that's been bashed up and it's salt. A lot of Southeast Asian cultures love to eat their sour fruits with salt. It gives it a, a really nice balance between the sourness and the salty. I, I personally love it. I'd like to eat my sour fruits, the really, really raw mangoes that are crunchy with salt because it's nice and sour and that salt kind of balances it and in a way it kind of enhances the sourness which is what I love about it because I love sour stuff so it's uh, chili flakes with salt goes really well with this this one's a little bit more ripe for my liking but usually a lot of people like to dip it in that just to enhance the flavor a little bit more the comparison between the supermarket and the street vendor I'd say the taste and texture pretty much the same it's just the street vendor, one, I can see it in, in front of my eyes being chopped up freshly. Two, it's nice and cold, it's been sitting on ice in his little kind of ice chest, so it's been kept refrigerated. And three, I think it's a little bit cheaper. If I went to the supermarket personally, I might just buy a fruit and take it home and cut it up myself. That way I know that it's fresh and I know that it's been cut up right then and there. And even the, the street vendor, they actually give you the actual whole thing, the sea as well and you can people would like to just bite on this you know so in my opinion the winner goes to the street vendor why i find that it's cheaper it's 20 baht versus 49 baht for two now the main thing is it's the freshness knowing that it was cut right in front of me and just the fact that it's nice and cold i would pay extra to have it cold if i want to eat it right away I have ended the debate. The winner clearly goes to Street Vendor. In conclusion, Street Vendors is fresher, it tastes better, and in my opinion, more value for money. So definitely go for the Street Vendors. Thank you guys so much for watching this supermarket versus Street Vendor tour. If you like this video, remember give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Until next time, you've only got one life. Live it.